Today I fucked up telling my girlfriend, 22. How I, 23 male, met my friends. A couple of nights ago my girlfriend was supposed to meet my friends. I've been delaying the process for months because I knew I had to have an uncomfortable conversation first. I met my friends at an orgy. My roommate at the time asked for my permission to host an orgy at our flat. I said yes, as long as my room and my belongings were off limits and the flat was cleaned properly afterwards. My plan was to spend the night at my mom's house and be out of everyone's way during the orgy, but my roommate encouraged me to stay and participate. I was still a virgin back then. The thought of sleeping with one person was overwhelming enough, let alone a group of people. However, my roommate eventually convinced me to take part. I was added to a group chat with all the people who were gonna be involved in the orgy. All of them made me feel really comfortable. That being said, when the orgy finally happened, I was unable to have sex with anyone. My anxiety won. Everyone was understanding though. Life went on. My roommate became my ex-roommate after a few months, but we never stopped being friends. The connections I made with the people at the orgy also developed into friendships. We're still friends now. My girlfriend didn't know my history with them until earlier this week when I finally had the courage to explain the orgy story. She was shocked and disturbed and asked if I lied to her about being a virgin when we met. I said no. She struggled to believe that a virgin guy would walk away from an orgy with his virginity still intact. My girlfriend made it clear that she was no longer interested in meeting my friends. She said she didn't know how she could be in a relationship with someone who was friends with people who shared him. I asked my girlfriend if she was breaking up with me and she said she was gonna need some time to decide what to do. Last night she decided. Our relationship is over. TLR I told my girlfriend that I met my friends at an orgy. That was all she needed to hear to break up with me. Edit. I never had sex at the orgy, but I did end up kissing my roommate and another girl did go down on me. I didn't leave out that information to make my girlfriend look like the villain, at least not intentionally, this is my fuck up after all. I should have provided a link to my previous post that explained everything or included the kiss and the BJ when I initially posted on this sub. It's understandable that my girlfriend is uncomfortable with my past because my past is still part of my present due to the friends I have. Can't change the past. She wasn't ready. The real orgy is the friends we made along the way. Honestly I can understand both of your sides. If your girl tells you she met her friends at an orgy she didn't take part in, would you believe her without a doubt? I just think she should have met them anyways to really see for herself. She didn't want to make any effort, that was wrong of her. A I think she's making a reasonable decision for her. This whole story sounds like a fucking nightmare. Today I fucked up by doing my own makeup before my best friend's wedding. This actually happened today. Approximately 30 minutes ago to be exact. I'm currently riding this in an Uber on my way to the airport and my face looks like this. Allow me to explain how I got into this situation. I was asked by my best friend a couple months ago to be the best man at his wedding. As he was my best friend and has been since college, I readily accepted. The only thing that's a bit difficult is that I live several states away from him. No big deal, I was planning his bachelor party in Vegas anyway. Amazingly, the bachelor party went off without a hitch and I was looking forward to the wedding this Sunday, still am. I ended up staying up way too late last night and into the early hours of this morning getting everything I needed to ready for this weekend, a task in which my ADHD did not help. Anyway, I basically stayed up until 6 a.m. this morning getting everything ready and by the time I was done, I was exhausted. I still had about 5 hours before I had to leave for the airport and figured it would be a good idea to take a power nap to recharge a bit so I could be good for tonight's festivities. When I opened my eyes, I checked my phone and saw that I was already 20 minutes past the time I was supposed to leave for the airport. I bolted out of bed and started to get dressed as fast as I could. I quickly threw on some shorts and a shirt and then started hopping on one foot trying to get my socks on. While my right sock slid on easily, my left sock was being a pain to do while I was hopping up and down. Suddenly, for reasons unknown, I landed wrong and rolled my ankle. As I came crashing to the floor, I also managed to crack my eyebrow off the tiles. With no time to lose, I quickly finished getting dressed and grabbed my bags and tucks and left. Now, I'm riding in the back of an Uber with a light blue golf ball of swelling hanging off my eyebrow less than 36 hours from my best friend saying his vows. I am praying that the swelling goes down and I avoid looking like Rocky for his wedding. Wish me luck. 
too long did not read. I overslept and managed to smack I off the floor less than 36 hours from being the best man in my best friend's wedding, likely giving myself some natural eyeshadow for the event. Edit. Evidently my eye wasn't bruised enough yet for the title to make sense. Don't worry everyone, I have my natural eyeshadow now. Closing square bracket opening parenthesis. Read the whole thing waiting for the makeup part. Wasn't until a bit after I finished I realized it was a joke about the shiner. Get some ice on it, friend. It'll help. Just tell him you got in a fight with the floor. So many lashes though. Yikes that's a whopper. You might want to go see a doctor. That looks really painful. Today I fucked up by eating a family-sized bag of raw carrots. I love eating carrots, to the point where I will eat 2-3 family-sized bags of raw carrots per week. My ex-girlfriend said that she thinks I am part rabbit, because she has never seen someone eat as many carrots as I do. In fact, I would always go over to her house and bring a bunch of carrots with me, and her dog and I, would easily kill a bag of carrots together. I thought that was weird cause I've never seen a dog eat carrots before but me and my buddy Finn would gladly take a bag of carrots over chips or dog treats, any day. Well, for whatever reason today as I was about halfway through my bag of carrots my head started getting itchy and my lips felt a bit numb and I, being the dummy that I am thought, I must be dehydrated, so I drank more water and slammed more carrots down. Until, everything started getting worse and my lips doubled in size, my nose looked like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, my tongue swelled so much I could barely talk and I finally started to freak out. I did a quick Google search and got some horrifying results about anaphylaxis so and so and decided I needed to go to urgent care. I recently just changed jobs and signed a new lease in a new city so I am living with my mom for a month until my lease is up. So I run downstairs and yell, MMMMUUUUMMM. And she takes one look at me and says, Holy SHXT, let's go to a doctor. They get me in pretty quickly due to my horrifying appearance and after sharing a couple of chuckles saying, he's allergic to carrots? Anyway, I got a steroid shot in my ass and get sent on my way. The problem is I started my new job but didn't sign up for the insurance yet so now I'm just waiting for the fat urgent care bill for the $4 bag of carrots that I am now going to be financing. Too long did not read. 28-year-old self-proclaimed, half-rabbit, man-child figures out that he's more anaphylactic man, then he is rabid and human hospital bills are expensive. Overexposure certainly can lead to developing an allergy of some things. I'm kind of skeptical that you develop an anaphylactic reaction to carrots so suddenly unless you were ignoring symptoms earlier? How were you able to eat so many carrots before and not have a reaction? This really bugs me doc. My god, the crunching. Torture. My ex-girlfriend said that she thinks I am part rabbit, because she has never seen someone eat as many carrots as I do. Is that the reason, or because you always wanted to procreate like bunnies, 